professional chef Rob Feeney joins us. Of course, he is the uh, Cactus Club food architect. And Rob, open up the barbecue, <laughs> and inside was his pan getting ready to saute kale because and we're he having. And picked it up with his hands. Bare hands. How's I your can, hand? I'm Look at now. the blister. I'm retired. No, it's not blistering, but it hurt. It's stuck to the side of that thing. I thought chefs had impenetrable Feeney, it's hands. Feeney, <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's talk about barbecuing because we are doing ribeye and kale. I well, never thought I'd see those two together. Well, you know what? Well, the fun. Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, barbecue. You can pretty much do everything. Even pizzas on barbecue are yeah. kind of fun to do, right? So, yeah. I mean, I obviously picked the steak as easy, but what I wanted to really talk about is kale because. Um, this is a, one of the, what they're calling the new superfood. I, I, I can't remember the woman that just put out that book, that kale book. Anyways, my wife bought it, and I can't remember the name of it. That <laughs> was really, really good of me. really stoked on it. I'm really stoked on that book. <laughs> but kale is the new popular food. Kale chips, <laughs> kale salad, kale this, kale that. But, it, but I mean, so this is kind of, to be honest with you, I mean, yeah, we got a nice piece of ribeye, but this... Kale is great whether you have it in salad. It's gonna, we're going to saute it really lightly. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's really When it's good. in season and it's fresh to it, there's a sweetness to it. Everyone associates it with bitterness. Oh, no. it's. But so when it, you just pick it, it's a beautifully. It's really good. So, so. Uh, how's the handle? Is it cooled down a little <laughs> no, bit? No, I'm good now. So what I'm going to do is, I've, so i got a rib. I'm gonna, I've got one. Sorry. <laughs> I closed it on you. You know what? I was messing with your head. Sorry. That's okay, right. so we have our ribeye. Okay. What have you marinated it in? Because well, it smells so good. I needed one to go ahead because if not, this one won't be ready in time. Okay. No, so what I I have is I have a little bit of garlic I've added there. Mm -hmm. That's uh, some just regular parsley, and that's thyme and rosemary. Okay. Okay. Nice. So that's been in there, and then I've added to that a little bit of balsamic, uh, and a little bit of olive oil. So, and you don't have to marinate it too long. All you have to, if you want, go ahead. If you want to just, just give her. Just give her. Yeah. Give her. Uh, let's talk about our friend the ribeye as well, and and why it's a perfect grilling steak. People tend to use cuts that are a little bit too lean on the grill. Well, you know what? I mean, I think that when you cook steak, it's like I think you're gonna make whatever. Should I just you put it on. Yeah. yeah, please go ahead. It Season is a personal a bit of preference, salt. isn't it? And put it that side down. Yeah, it's it's it's. I think the whole deal with uh, with meat is. Obviously, the butcher is the most important part. You and I used to live up uh, on I still go there. That. Yeah. yeah, he actually, he lectured me about the fact oh, that yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Huh? <laughs> okay, don't burn yourself. That's my job. Uh, <laughs> done but, and uh, done. But no, I mean, one of the coolest things, I think, is obviously making sure you got the right butcher, right? Yeah. So, I mean, whether, whether you go to Whole Foods, whether you go to Costco even. And uh, talk to the butcher yeah. about how you're cooking it. For and sure. they'll make the best recommendation of what cut to use. Well, for me, I mean, one of my favorites has always been Armando Gramelon. You know, he yeah. sells... Yeah. Uh, Canadian Prime, and there's there's a very few people that sell Canadian Prime in the city. And that's the ultimate. So you go to any great steakhouse in the country. Yeah. You know, Canadian Prime is the top one percent of all cattle. So that's really what if you're looking for a steak, yeah. like if you want the premier steak, a nice ribeye, that's you want you a go. Canadian Prime. And the great thing about the ribeye is it's you know you've got basically the New York and the tenderloin together, right? That's the great thing about it. Yeah. And we're gonna basically good take good modeling, good flavor. Yeah. And what are we doing to our kale here? Kale's real simple. <laughs> well, now that I got my yeah, uh, now how going, simple is it there? Do you need a uh, medic? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> but no. No, I, I actually, uh, for me, I just, uh, ironically enough, I just did this a couple weekends ago for my family at home. This is why I'm doing it for you. Yeah. Because I've told you guys before, I get a lot of ideas at home. Because you so love us like family. I do. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's right. Mike. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Well I knew you were getting Well said. Oh, wow. So back wow. to the kale. Okay, so back to the kale. <laughs> Over here. He's for clamps. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am a little bit today. So it's the weather. And the shallots? Shallots. I got a little bit of shallots here. A little bit of olive oil. We're just going to put this back over here, and, and it'll heat up. And then I'm just going to take the kale, and we're going to toss the kale in. And you this, just want to lightly saute it so it doesn't lose the crispness. Well, kale is almost, you know, don't forget a lot of these greens yes. contain water. And I mean, you know, spinach, for example, is like 90% water. So I'm assuming with kale, we're, we're, it's probably about 60% of water that's in there. So it'll slowly wilt down. Oh, there's the steaks. There okay. it is. Should I, should I marinate the other side? No. No? No, it's a, well, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> yeah, you should have. It's you should have. now. For you should have, but you didn't. <laughs> we got one side naked. That's fine. Oh, great. There she goes. Oh, careful. Are you going to burn yourself? I am not. Seriously, man. Because uh, I'm smart. The other thing I wanted to tell people, too, is at home, we preheated this grill. And Hot. most grills at home should get up to around. I just want to show, like, you got this little temperature gauge on yours. And you lose so much. And most of, most that. of them go up to almost 600 degrees. Yeah. yeah. One of, and as soon as you, as soon as we open that, it went all the way down to 300. So you got to be really careful. It takes only 15 minutes to warm up. Yeah. But once you open that door, the heat's gone. So if you want to watch it, you want to keep it, you know, keep open. And how many times should you flip your it. steak? Because most people just keep flipping it, flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. Well, sometimes that's what I. That's do. a guy thing. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> that's that's you're not thing. a steak poker, are you? No, I'm not a steak. Yeah, poker. you're not allowed to do that. People. Poke their steak. That as soon as I see no, someone I, do that, I get an extra one and I poke the extra one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so am I like screwing this up? Okay, no. so I'm gonna put a little bit of. But I am gonna try this now. 
Do I just feel disoriented today? <laughs> no, we're messing is? with you, man. We've been doing it all day. Yeah, you mess with me all the time, but it's good because I focus. Focus. Okay, no, so, doing a so here, so the kale, so the kale, we're just gonna, like I said, a light saute, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zap it up a bit with, by ordering, putting some of my Feeny's blend in. Oh, and you know wow. what? I have Feeny's to say, go haywire. The Feeny's blend, the haywire, yeah. quite delicious. It's good. It's, it's pretty. What is the blend? Do you know off the top of your head? It's uh, Gewürztraminer and Chardonnay. So it's Gewürz is nice because it's got a little sweetness to it. Yeah. And then, and then I, shardy, shardy, because you like to party. Shardy, shardy, because I so like to party. I'm gonna take party. a little bit of lemon juice in there. <laughs> Okay. Oh, lemon juice, yeah. So now I'm going to take the. I already, I already I had pre done a steak. Look at, I'm all over the map. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's Would the it way. help if I started booing? Sure. <laughs> Just boo! Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take this off. This okay. is the first steak, right? Because we're almost there. Okay, I'm going to. This little. I don't know what happened to this burner on the side. I do. It's not very hot. That's okay. I, but you know what? It's, I just, I'm just. wilting this ever so slightly. <laughs> ever really slightly. Well, why don't we just put it put on it here? No, it's good. No, it's, it's good. Put it in the queue and then grab it with your bare hand. Mm, it's delicious. No, it's really good. Let's just okay. close her up and okay, let her close cook. Close her up and then we're going to slice this while we're waiting. Okay, I always put you on the spot with this, but it's only because, and we don't have to show it, but there's a building going on over there uh, that is a future cactus club. It's and under, wow, you guys already have English Bay with that amazing view. You're going to have two of the biggest patios in the world. Don't take a shot. It doesn't look like much right now, but Center it is going to be stunning. That is a very big, no, we're so excited about that spot. I'm I mean, so excited about that spot. No, it's it's like English Bay is going, you know, we, we, it's done really well for us, but this is, uh, it's a very large spot. It's yeah. about, we're, you know, we've got patios going down each side, this side, the other side. I mean, it's like, and just standing here looking at the view, I'm excited, excited. Rob, so. is this wilted enough? Perfect. Way to go, Fiona. Okay. Don't grab it with your hand, Fee. Only, 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 only jackasses will grab can it with do that. your hand. And Fiona's going to be the new executive chef. I am. I am <laughs> a new iron chef. Okay. I like so, your thick cut. I just want to point I'm cutting on the Thank RF you. board. Okay, the RF board. Where's this from? Where's the, the RF we have the, board? We have the RF wine and the but RF board. where do I board. get one of these? <laughs> Can you change this to an F? So it's FF? Of course. Where do, Thank can you. you get these? Or I just had one made. I just thought, what the hell? You know, what get a, a little RF. Get a little RF. Yeah. I'm on my own board. It would be kind of weird if I had one. I think people would talk. It would so we're just going to, actually, you know what, hang, you know what I'm going to do? This is more fun. We're going to take, <laughs> I know. <laughs> How long, how long does no, our gonna, other this, steak have to stay on? It's probably ready now. You think? So we're going to take a little bit of this. We're going to make kind of a Florentine oh, style, good. right? Yeah. A little bit of this, right? So the steak on the top. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to take it right at the bottom. This is really good, okay? And then I always like a little more salt on mine, so we'll take a little more. This is a fleur de sel. Okay, a little I bit of that on top. I love that salt. A little bit of olive oil. Okay, Rob, yes, how do we tell if this is done? I put some salt in there. Uh, it's not quite done yet. And you can touch it. I'm going to show you that's, in a sec. That's how I you know, can tell. I know, but I can never chef. tell. This one. Okay, so I gonna, part of your hand. I'm going to throw the kale on the top like this. Okay, and then I have a secret sauce I just made up just like that. Delicious. Oh, it's that the looks same, good. It's the marinade, so it's the same same stuff, right? And we're going to just so, spoon it on the top. if you would like, oh my oh, gosh, yeah, I am good. hungry. If you would like your recipe, your own recipe for barbecue ribeye steak with sautéed kale from Mr. Rob Feeney, just email us at urbanrushatshaw.ca and we will send it to you. And uh, we're going to eat this. And after the break, we...